Hi guys, welcome back to another eventing vlog. As you will have seen from the title of this video, today we are going out again with Harry for his second time, second time eventing. Um, we are going to Waverton, Waverton House, which is a new venue for the Cotswolds Cup. It's like an unaffiliated eventing series that is running this year. So I thought it'd be good to take Harry to some nice local unaffiliated ones. Got very late time, so it's currently like 20 past 11. Um, his dressage isn't till half two. So I've just got him in, it's a bit of a gray day. We weren't sure whether it was gonna run, they've had to cancel yesterday's, but fingers crossed, well, they're running today, so I think it's gonna be quite slippy and muddy, but we'll see. Um, I'm probably just gonna, well, I'm just gonna trot around this country anyway. What have you seen? and um, maybe the show jumping as well, if it's gonna be muddy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna plat him up now and get going. Have you seen another pony? So yeah, that is the plan for today. Harry's dressage test. This is his second ever dressage test on grass and only his third proper ever dressage test and it is P96 2016. So for our first centre line we got a six with the comment not always straight. You can't really see in this video. I didn't think it didn't feel super straight but fine. Then for this trot all the way back up, we've got 7.5, which is very nice. And then we went into a certain time at um, a. And we got an 8 for this certain time, which I was really pleased with because I have been working on Harry staying nice and soft and supple throughout these changes in bent which I think he does very nicely. So yeah, I've got an eight for that. And then in this corner, we had to make a transition to canter, which was quite early on. And we got a six for that transition to jump to canter. Mum, you can't really see in the video, but he did. But then we got a 7.5 for this canter circle, which I was so pleased with because his canter has come on loads. 
and this is much better than the candle I had actually been getting at home in the week leading up to this. Then we got 7.55 downwards transition. I think it helped that she couldn't actually see his head, but it wasn't too bad. And then what are we doing? Oh yeah, medium walk, uh, straight into a free walk. So we had to go straight into a free walk. And this is where he lost marks. We got a six and this is doubled with the comment, no real stretch. But I'm really pleased with the, the um, paces he's taking with his legs, the steps, that's the word, the steps he's taking. No short steps, which we've been really struggling. And then you have to go straight back into trot with that marker. And we got 7.5 flat transition and the trot work. Well, actually, no, we got 7.5 for trot. And then it's back into a serpentine, which we got another 8 for. So, all his trot work is really, really good. And then you're basically mirroring it. So, I had to do a counter transition here, which we got. 7.5 for so much better transition but then 6.5 for the counter circle with the comment head swinging which yeah I totally agree his head is nodding around which is something we're still working with but then we got 7.5 for this downwards transition which I was very pleased with because his downward transitions have come on a long way and then you have to change the rain and I was really pleased this trot felt so nice and we got an eighth for this change of rain. Just about here, when I change my diagonal, you can see kind of I lose him a bit. Um, but yeah, I was really pleased with the trot. And then 7.5 we got for down the centre line. So obviously it was a little bit better. Then we got six for this halt, which yeah, it's pretty bad. I should have waited because then he actually there st stepped back into it. But that is something to work on. And now we'll go back to past Millie speaking about the dressage test that just I've just done. done. our dressage and he was a very good boy considering that he doesn't have any studs in and the arena was a little bit on a hill. I'm very pleased with him. Um, so we've now got a long wait. So we're going to go walk the cross country and the show jumping. Um, I've dropped him down to the 70 um, just because Carmston 80 was quite a big ask with the cross country. And so we've been practicing lots. And yeah, drop him down to the 70, so hopefully he'll have a nice confidence giving run, won't you? But um, yeah, very pleased with his dressage for his second ever one. Um, and yeah, considering it's rained all morning, he coped very well. Well, you were such a good boy. So good. So yeah, he's chilling, having some hay. He's gonna go walk cross country. And his flats look good. It was a bit rushed this morning, so I didn't really fill you in but yeah we're doing the 70 and that is about all to update you on and it's beautiful weather now it's lovely and sunny and hot which is really nice so hopefully it'll stay like that and dry out good boy see you later show you jumping around and you can actually see the rain how heavy it was during our round the first fence is this red marine one that I'm trotting into I decided to trot into it because I didn't really like it as a first fence it wasn't upright and it was quite gappy in the middle so I really just wanted to make sure he knew where he was going and it's so slippy and like I've already said he didn't have studs in so I trotted around this corner because everyone was slipping but he was so good, bless him. Absolutely over the moon how he jumped this round.
Well done. Oh my goodness. We have just got back from show jumping. The weather was awful whilst we were waiting to go. There was a huge delay. Like I already had two and a half hours, but I think it was probably more like three, three and a half hours that we waited and it just downpoured the whole time. So warm up was awful. So I just trotted him into all the fences. Mum was busy helping me so she didn't get any footage of warm up. They'll be back in the Land Rover. Anyway, um, he jumped clear as you'll have seen. I am so ecstatic with him. So, so pleased with him. Um, it was a very spooky course. Okay, I was about to get changed in front of the camera. Let's not do that. It was a very, very spooky course. I'll change my silk. Um, and so I just trotted him at the beginning over the first few just to give him the confidence because I can't remember if I said it at the beginning. I don't think I did. We found that with his cross country, he really likes trotting into the fences to give himself time to look at what he's got to do. So I wanted to do the same today with the show jumping and also as it's so slippy to give him time. Um, and our dressage, 28.8, like how amazing. Oh. So if it goes tits up now, it's fine. He's even, he's improved so much since the last one. He's so less spooky, so I'm, I'm so pleased with him. Getting ready to go across country whilst the sun is still out. Not sure how it's gonna go. If he jumps as well as he did in show jumping, he'll be fine. He was really brave. So hopefully he'll be feeling the same. Um, so yeah, that is a quick update on the day. We've just been going quick, quick, quick after dressage, it just was soaking and I didn't vlog anything. And then we just wanted to get ready for show, uh, show jumping. And now we're getting ready for cross country. So I'll maybe try and get mum to film a little bit of warm up of cross country and then see when we're going cross country. But yeah, the day is going really, really well, apart from the weather. Um, yeah, so pleased with him. So pleased with him. He's, I'll show him to you actually, where is he? He should be just, I don't know if you can see him. There he is. Hi. Just gonna get changed, okay? So yeah, catch up with you in a little in a little while.
and we are done. Harry was absolutely amazing. I could not have asked for more from him today. We were in the lead after dressage and show jumping. Like, that is just insane. Just shows how competitive he's going to be. Um, and then the plan was just to school him round cross country, which I did, because that has been his babyish phase at the moment, his weakest phase. Um, but he was amazing. It was like a different pony. He was so confident. Didn't look at anything apart from one. One I knew he wouldn't like. And yeah, he had a little look at that, but I'm so, so pleased with him. He jumped amazingly. Sorry, there hasn't really been much vlogging. The weather has been atrocious, so we've just been kind of go, go, go. But yeah, absolute best baby pony and feeling so much more confident. So I'm really pleased with him. So he's just having some grass and I might catch up with you once we are home. More? And we are finally home. Finally made it home. I'm just taking Harry back out to the field. I've got my boy his supper in my hand. So although he seems more keen to be getting back out. But anyway, it's been a very long day. Oh, you've still got energy, have you? It's like quarter to nine now. So very tired, but absolutely buzzing with him. Drop his feet. Um, absolutely buzzing with him. Couldn't have asked more really from him. The improvement from he's so keen to get back out the improvement from Carmston just wait the improvement from Carmston is just inc like unrecognizable he was in a completely different headspace today um well, the bus moved all the jumps anyway he was yeah oh you can have your supper in a minute he was so much better ah, he was so much better and um yeah his dressage was good he always Harry, please. He always does a good test. Um, he's come on so much with his flat work. So I was really pleased with him to get 28.8. I was really secretly hoping for a sub 30 today because I know he can do it. Um, so yeah, absolutely buzzing to get that. And also the judge in our section, she was quite harsh. Like you could look, it was quite cool. You could look at the could, average. Let's take your head off. You could look at the average for the section. And when I looked at it earlier, I mean, I haven't looked since earlier, it was, the average was 38, so we were a good 10 under the average. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with him for getting a sub 30 dressage. And then, and yeah, the weather was, I can't do this one handed. The weather was good whilst we were doing our dressage test, which was nice. It was nice and sunny, um, but then, Whilst we were waiting for show jumping, it just absolutely poured. Maybe I'll put this down. Yeah, whilst we were waiting for show jumping, it absolutely tipped it down. It was awful. So we decided to wait. Um, I mean, they were running late anyway, so we tried to wait till the last possible moment to go. Um, but it was just ridiculously slippy. Warm up was so slippy. Um, so I decided just to trot the first few, just so he felt nice and confident. Um, and yeah, knew where he was going. And that really worked really well because then he just got more confident and counted the rest of the course. There was a couple where he took off a quite long stride and I wasn't sure he was going to. So let's not judge my riding for those long strides, but he was really good, really, really good. Cause it was a big spooky arena and the ground was just horrendous. So I'm so pleased with him going clear. And then we went back and looked on our on eventing scores and we were in the lead of our section like which is like crazy um so i was so pleased with him for being so competitive today in our section i couldn't ask for more so i was like even if we get eliminated cross country it's already going so so well um so we went down to cross country and he warmed up really really nicely um and he was really really keen actually because i thought i'll trot him 
into the warm-up fences um yeah and he was really good and yeah going out the start box mum waited in the middle field so you can see our start and finish going out the start box he was not nappy at all he was so good straight to it um really really good no please don't knock that over come back are you are you off anyway yeah going out the start box he was really good and um oh, he's gonna have a roll um just felt like he just knew a bit more what he was meant to be doing and felt really really confident so i am so pleased with him and he just my aim was to school him round so i wasn't worried about the time i just wanted to bring him back to trot for the majority of the fences unless he felt like he was really going so a couple of the combinations we did canter um like the b parts there was one fence that he looked at so we did end up with 20 penalties but considering we've got eliminated at Carmston a month ago like it was amazing so much better so proud of him um, I suggest if you haven't watched that Carmston vlog go and watch it because the difference and improvement in today is just amazing so how many times can I say amazing come here oh no, he's like I've had enough of you today um, really really proud of him today Leo wants his supper um, and yes that is it he's gonna go and enjoy his evening in the field hope you enjoyed it i don't think sorry if there wasn't much vloggy footage we just tried to kind of get everything done because the weather was not on our side today that is everything for this vlog and i'll see you next time with a pizzazz eventing because that is who i'm going with next but yeah so so proud of him today um he really was like a different pony so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and it's seen the improvement as well leo's getting so angry so i better go feed him bye